Outback Jack. He's faced crocodiles, snakes, and dingoes. Now he's about to come face to face with the Outback's newest predators. I just have a fear that I'm going to be somewhere that I can't get my hair done and my nails done. 12 uptown girls from across America are getting dropped down under. I thought I was going to some nice resort. They'll live in the outback. No outlet. Outlets for what? Electronic. <laughs> They'll survive in the wild. In the event that you see a crocodile, you need to run. And they'll complain every step of the way. No, 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 no. I hate the bugs. I hate the fact that we have to sleep outside. And my mascara is running. I just saw a cockroach crawl across my Chanel bag. Some won't be able to handle it. I hate the outback. Somebody should burn it down and build a mall. The others will compete for the man of their dreams. I am very open to committing to one person for the rest of my life. I think the girls are pretty impressed. And I can't wait to get to know them. <laughs> But only one woman will win the heart. If it's really love, I would do anything. Of Outback Jack. The love is blind. You don't see it happen. It just falls into your lap. And that's what's happened to me out here. It's the greatest love story ever told. This knight in shining armor, this Outback guy, is taking care of all of us. Outback Jack. I don't shoot game and I don't fish. The girls went fishing Outback style. Winners get dinner with Jack, losers do the cooking, ladies. Adrian won and got to hook up with Jack. Black Barbie goes to the Outback and wins the fish contest. While the others got down and dirty with the fish. I will never eat sushi again. But Adrian's romantic night. Does Adrian like Jack? Caused a jealous Marissa to take matters into her own hands. If I want to take Jack aside and spend time with him, I'm going to do that. Then, Jack had to send two girls home. I just hate having to see these girls go. Now. Oh, yeah. Six girls remain. Adrian, Marissa, Mary, Maria, Courtney, and Natalie. I really need to get to know these girls on a personal level. As the battle for Jack's heart shifts into high gear. No matter what happens, I don't think anything is going to stop Jack and I from being together. I've gathered the girls up, said our goodbyes, and um, jumped in the ball catches and headed toward our next camp. Ours has a really funny smell. That one does too. I don't know how to drive stick shift. I don't do stick. No way. Why work so hard when you're driving? Stupid. We're going to drive to our new campground. Out here, I'm learning that I can do a lot more than I ever thought I could. I think that staying here will not only help me get to know Jack more, but also help me to get to know myself a little bit more. Oh my god, I feel like alligators in there. <laughs> Let's get it rolling, girl! A rare sight in the outback to see six girls driving around in um, bull catchers, just letting go. Hair everywhere, dust everywhere. Mary's sitting there like this. Wee! Faster! Wee! Oh my god, I got a Hold on. I was right on Jack's bum with that four by four. I mean, I was right there and I was like, let's go faster. I wanted to prove that I'm the only girl that can keep up with him. Marissa was out of control. I had to tell her, Marissa, you need to slow down. Hey, good girl. Hi. She responded by, yeah, it's cool, Jack. It's cool. Oh, yeah, no, everything's fine. I was scared because Marissa was a psycho driver, and she was running all over the roads and running into trees. <laughs> We 
came across a big python on the road. They're not poisonous, but hey, they're bloody strong. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is it? It's a big fat snake. Oh! You just stay over there, buddy. Get up here, girls. As you can see, this is a decent sized puppy. This is an olive python, about 10 foot, and that is stronger than my arms. Yeah. Do you want to have a pat? Yeah, he's a bit dehydrated, and there's something wrong with this fella. I think we're going to have to take this one to um, a mate of mine, Philby, down the road. And he's got a uh, sanctuary for animals. We had a chance to touch him, rub him, scratch him. I'm talking about the snake, not Jack. No screaming. We'll just wrap him across your shoulders. Do I have to have the head over here? Don't worry, the head's, the head's right near my face, okay. okay? You don't need to worry. A 10 foot long snake, one out wearing around my neck. It was Cleopatra, totally. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That's just a beautiful, beautiful reptile. I'm not a snake lover. I don't like them at all. And that's not a poisonous snake. That's a snake that strangles you. That scared the crap out of me. I'll put you in there, gently. How about he rides with one of you girls? How about not? There's no way that thing's riding with me. I radioed ahead to the animal sanctuary and let my friends know we were bringing them in a patient. Looks like Jack's bought us the uh, best looking bull catcher team I've seen in a long, long time. <laughs> Hello, Philby. How are we going, Jack? Hello, Sarah. Hello, Jack. How are you? Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Hello. Hi, Sarah. What have you got there? Hey, ladies. Yeah, ladies. You can have a bit of a look see and see what we've got here. So, um, I've been hit by a car once or twice before. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I'd leave him here with you guys. There's just something between Jack and animals. I think I'm going to have to put on my leopard G-string just to get his attention. Just before you arrived, girls, we're uh, about to release this little animal here. All right, yes. so just put your hand in, gentle. Yeah. You're right with him. Have a go at it. You are right with him. <laughs> just pick him up. Oh, it's breathing so heavy. Just up near the shoulders, pick him up like that. Oh, oh. oh a little blue tongue. Philby told us that this is a blue tongue lizard. I'm not sure if it has a blue tongue or not, but I'm not getting close enough to it to find out if it does. Is your new hobbit? What a beautiful fella. Hello, mate. You want to bring him down here, one of you girls? Yeah, you want to release him? Let him go back to Yeah, just let him go. I think he was nervous, and I was nervous, and he just pooped all down my leg. It'll, it'll toughen you up. Don't squeeze him too hard. He just, just released really him. Yeah, hey, that's beautiful. Good boy. Come on, little fella. Come on. I might borrow Jack. I need a, a strong man down here to give me a hand for a while. A little job down here. No worries, mate. How you been, all right? I have a splinter. Excuse me for one sec. Can I interrupt? Ladies? We need to have a quick chat, and we need to do it without Jack. You guys started out as a group of 12. You're now down to six. So far, it has been Jack's decision who stays and who goes. But that is about to change. The next time one of you is eliminated, it is going to be your decision who goes. The next elimination, the six of you have to vote out one of your own. I can't believe this. I'm so screwed. Ladies, so far it has been Jack's decision who stays and who goes, but that is about to change. The next elimination, the six of you have to vote out one of your own. There's one other thing. Jack cannot know about this. This little secret stays between you and me. Everybody understand that? When JD told us that we had to send one of our own home, it was very surreal because we all knew who we were going to send home. When JD made the announcement today, Marissa's body language changed completely. Her facial expression, it was written all over her face. It was just fear, fear, fear. 
I'm really freaked out. I have a few ideas, you know, with pulling a couple girls aside, but aside from that, I'm just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. You guys, like, we needed any more stress. I know. We're well, under so much stress, but now we gotta vote one of our own now. Let's just all sit down and talk about what bothers each of us about each other. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that Mary. Could be, that could be dangerous. That could get I ugly. Think yeah. This is oh, the claws so are that coming me? out. The claws wow. are coming <laughs> out. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. This elimination is definitely something we weren't expecting, but something that we welcome because it was time to get rid of Marissa and this was our chance to do it. At the beginning, everyone made friends with everyone. You ready for a ride? <laughs> and it's unfortunate that Marissa didn't because now it's backfiring. We got to our new camp and the girls were acting a little grumpy. I need a shower. Yeah. I have never been dirty like this. My nails, my face, my body. Like, I am just soaked in dirt. Here we go, our new home. Our new home. We arrived at the third camp. We thought that it was going to be some fancy camp because, you know, the last one had sand and by the water. We get to this thing and it's like we're in the jungle. We need a lawnmower. <laughs> There's the weed whacker. <laughs> When I get to camp, I go around the perimeter of the camp and make sure that everything is safe because this is all real. There are creatures everywhere here. The girls are having a chat by the fire, so it's a good time for me to go and do this. God, my booby is itching from this thing. Excuse moi, but it is. <laughs> and the tag on this bathing suit is just about to send me over the edge. How are we going to do this? What? Honestly, like, how are we going to do this? We have some serious conversations to get to tonight so that we can figure out the woman that should be going home. I think it's time to address what we need to address because I don't like phoniness, I don't like games, and it's time to deal with it. Adrian wasn't looking at anyone else. She was looking straight at me. Honestly, I feel like there's something between you and I now. I had no clue until just now. And why do you think it would be between us? I have no idea. That's why I'm like, whoa, whoa what's going on? Yeah, Marissa, sweetie pie, we're all sitting here. Did I say Marissa? We need to sit down and have a talk. Marissa felt as if I was speaking directly to her. And I wasn't. I was speaking to the group as a whole, collectively. There's no reason to be, you know, rude, you know? Mary, am I rude? No. Courtney, am I rude? Maria, am I rude? No. Nope. Natalie, am I being rude? No. I'm just saying that I think it's time for us to have a talk. You tell um, me what I'm saying. To Marissa, and... I know exactly how I'm taking it, and the only person that I can speak for is myself. Sorry. I'm speaking for Adrian. Oh, it's intense. I think Adrian feels the need to speak to me in that manner because she is insecure. A, and B, I am her biggest competition. This has just thrown the biggest boomerang into our mix. Good Australian word, boomerang. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We tried to talk about the upcoming elimination, but things got too testy, so we all decided to call it a night. Ew! All these bugs are crawling into my stuff. <laughs> Did you spray off all over your bed? Not yet. You need to, because it saved me from a lot of bugs last night. <laughs> and when I woke up, all the bugs were on the outside of my net, staring in at me. <laughs> Ready for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Are we in the rainforest? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do they have rainforests in Australia? I don't know. We're on our way to Zebedee Springs right now, and I thought it'd be good that the girls treat themselves to the spa life outback style.
This is a natural spring, warm and cold water, and it is really healthy and good for you. Feel free to go around to each and every item. Do what it is that comes naturally to you ladies. We have become like mountain women out here. I've got monkey legs right now. I have never been this hairy in my life. Oh my god. This mud is so good for my skin. Normally, I like to stay pretty clean, but at this point, I'm liking the dirt. That is freaking fantastic. I also had aloe vera, straight picked from wherever it comes from. I am in heaven. <laughs> we had the hot sun, sunburn. We got to spread aloe all over us, so that was really good, because we have not had the best of skincare out here. <laughs> Bless Mary. He is one of a kind. Mary is NC-17. <laughs> there she was in the American bikini. And I said, what the? And she said, hell, I've got to represent. I haven't had a chance really to get to know the girls yet. So I decided to take them one by one to a private spring over the hill where we could spend some time together. Let's go now. <laughs> Your eyes look amazing, and I do find you very attractive. As much as those things to me are beautiful, and you are beautiful, I find your personality more attractive than your looks. That's good. <laughs> I want you to be able to see who I am and where I come from and what my values are and, and what I think is important in life. I'm, I might not be the most talkative one. I never want you to feel as though you have to talk because there's silence. Silence is beautiful between two people. I'm very content just holding your hand here and just appreciating who you are. I'm totally opening myself up, which I did not think was going to happen here because I don't usually do that. I've always been, you know, a one-man show with women. It's mm -hmm. just I just want one woman mm -hmm. to impress, please, love, mm -hmm. and obviously here it's not how it works. Mm -hmm. We're very comfortable around each other. It's so familiar, it's so comfortable, and I think it's more on a spiritual connection. You know I'm spiritual, mm -hmm. and I know where you're at spiritually. Mm -hmm. You're up there, mm -hmm. and that is huge. Mm -hmm. And you're just a bloody top chip, full stop. <laughs> Would you want me to move here, or would you move back to where I live? That's a good question, Mira. Yeah. I'm full of good oh, questions. Oh, you are. You are, I tell you. I'm I, full I of think, good questions. I think that, that would be decided in time. Mary glows in, in whatever she does. She's always stayed the same true person, and I like that about Mary, and that's why she's still here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm somebody who's here for the you part of it more than the adventure. The adventure is like the icing on the cake. My first instinct of you was correct that you have a special quality that's very hard to find. I hope that, that I'm able to see more of you and see how you fit into my life. I'm sure you will. Jack leaned in for a kiss and I turned my cheek. I didn't mean to be rude, but I'm not ready to kiss him yet. I was wondering what your intention was. I didn't realize that I could have so many feelings for, you know, so many big girls. <laughs> you know, it's hard. Uh-huh. Yeah. But what would you like to get out of it? Well, love. <laughs> I think Jack was surprised. I don't know if he knew how to take it. It was just kind of like, where did this come from? <laughs> kind of tired of talking. I think actions speak a whole hell of a lot stronger than words. This whole thing is, is awkward. I feel like I don't want to share you, you know, with any of the other girls. But I think I know how you feel, and I think you know how I feel. I really care about all of these women but there's something special about Marissa that I just can't put my finger on. 
Marissa and I just clicked and romantically there was a lot of energy between us. I've never done my own nails, ever. Ooh. Do you do your own nails? Some people do their own nails, like at home. You know that? I don't know if I would have been able to come if I would have known all of my Chanel and Estee water is over there just melting. After the spa treatment, I felt like my old self again. This is the best I've looked since I got here. How do I look? Sexy. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> I love that outfit. What, this one? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Juicy. Very <laughs> juicy. Yeah. If she thinks she can save herself by playing up to Jack, she's got another thing coming. Because Jack doesn't even have a vote this time. <laughs> <laughs> Jack and I have a very strong connection, and I think he would be really upset if he found out that I had to go. Hello, my beauties. Hello. Hello. I've seen some very special friends of mine, and I think that um, it would be nice if we could go and pay them a visit, OK? All right. Oh my god. Hello, Jack. How are you, Ronnie? Oh. Great to see you, mate. No worries. You all right? These are the girls. I really wanted the girls to meet some of my Aboriginal friends. They're an important part of the outback and definitely an important part of my life. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. When we walked out to meet the Aborigines, I thought that it was something I've only seen out of National Geographic. So I introduced my Aboriginal friends to the girls. They proceeded to do a ceremonial dance and welcome them to the outback. The Aborigines were half naked and the women had white paint all over their boobs. It was a little strange, I have to tell you. I think the other girls thought the Aboriginal dance was a little strange, but since I'm a singer, I can totally relate. I was ready for some white paint myself. After my Aboriginal friends performed their dance, they invited the girls to participate in a ritual cleansing ceremony. Good afternoon. This welcome is good for you. They blessed us all and welcomed us into their community, basically. You must come here. They're beautiful people, and um, after all the animosity that's gone toward them from the white man, they still welcome us with open arms, and I think we could all take a leaf out of their book. We want to work together. That's why the Jamaic mean to you, to bring you into our country. The Aborigines gave us this welcoming ceremony by ridding us of the demons, is how I felt. <laughs> I was the first person that they cleansed, and it was, so, it was so spiritual. I closed my eyes and I saw turquoise all around the campfire. It was like a light that was shining down on, on all of us. I know Jack wanted us to take this seriously, but they were tickling me. I couldn't help but laugh. 
The ceremony was incredible. I probably won't have an opportunity like that ever again. I would really like it, mate. No if, uh, if you and Peggy yeah. will come back to my camp, OK? And, you know, we share a bit of our stuff with you. OK. OK? Yep. Thank you. I thought it was amazing. It's an awakening experience. Going from Louisville, Kentucky to Aborigine culture was a 360 from what I'm used to. Evening, everybody. J.D. brought bad news the last time, so we can only imagine what he's going to bring this time. Probably more bad news. In Aboriginal culture, sometimes finding a mate involves a traditional matching ceremony, and the elders have agreed to help us tonight as we hold our own special version of that. When the ceremony is over, the elders are going to choose the woman that they think is the best match for Jack. Now, the girl they choose will receive a ceremonial Aboriginal necklace and a private one-on-one -on -one date with Jack tonight. Uh, Jack, I know before we get started, you want to show Peggy and Ronnie around? Absolutely. Why don't absolutely. you do that first? I'll talk to the ladies for a second. Good second. man, thank you. Thanks, Jack. Mm -hmm. Good luck, man. Thank you. Thanks. One more piece of information that you need to have. Tomorrow morning, you're going to be voting out one of your own. However, the girl that the elders choose as the best match for Jack will automatically be safe from elimination. So, win tonight. You cannot be voted out tomorrow. I'm back in the game now. I know the girls thought I was gone, but I'll show them. I'm gonna win this challenge. Tonight, there is a challenge, and whoever the Aborigines decide is the best match for Jack gets a special necklace, and that person's safe from the elimination tomorrow. No one. No one. I really want to win this challenge tonight because if I don't win this contest, not only do I not win a date with Jack tonight, but I'm out tomorrow. Hang on, it's cold. Dude. The Aborigines went around and painted our faces in different ways. They really welcomed us in and we got to feel what it was like to be a, a part of their culture. One of the elders showed us the meeting ritual dance and we had to do it like it was coming from our hearts. When the dance started, it was like the Marissa show. She stepped in front of everyone to get the attention of the elders. I couldn't believe it. It was like some sort of robot dance. They're <laughs> a crazy bunch of shielders, I tell you. Mary had this stick up in the air, and she was acting like it was a pole, and she was working that stick like nobody's business. dance, I was looking around and thinking, this must be the craziest these girls and I have ever looked. And Peggy, if you would, present this to the woman you chose to match with Jack. They have to pick me. I have to win. As the elder moved towards Marissa, I was sure that she was going to get that necklace. And I was thinking, we're never getting rid of this girl. When Peggy and the elders told me that I was the one, I was stunned. Now I finally get to spend alone time with Jack. So it's a very good thing. I'm really disappointed. I know that I'm going to get kicked off, and this is really going to suck. Bye.
you can say it done. Before you can become a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you have to feel natural around the person and not have to be stiff or fake. So I just want him to get to know me. Are there any good Italian restaurants here? Anywhere close to where we are? <laughs> I'm about 300 miles south of here. 300 miles? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, what do you like to do besides hunt things? Well, where did that come from? Hunting? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Well, that big knife you have. That's for protection. For protection? Uh-huh. Mary, she's out there. She's very funny. She makes me laugh, and she wears her heart on her sleeve, pretty much like I do. Like chick flicks? Do I? I watch them if I have to. So if I if I said let's go to a chick flick, you would go, right? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because I'm looking for a companion, and I think that he'll in the end see that I am the true girl for him. Hi. Hello, you two. Hi. What's going on with you guys? Nothing. We had a really nice dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good evening. Jack, I got some good news for you. Tomorrow morning, you do not have to eliminate any of these ladies. That's because yesterday, they were told that this time it was going to be their decision, who gets eliminated and not yours. Now, because Mary was selected in the Aboriginal matching ceremony, she cannot be voted out, but one of these five is going to be eliminated, and it is completely up to them. I'm in shock. I'm in total and utter shock. I just don't know how that's going to go down. You may want to go ahead and give them a little privacy because they have a big decision to make. Not a problem, JD. Thank you, sir. No worries, mate. For somebody, this could very well be your last night in the Outback. You got a tough decision, ladies. I'll see you in the morning. We weren't supposed to go to his tent. I don't know why she's in his tent right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maria running to Jack's tent was crazy. It did nothing except make us all look around at each other and wonder what her deal was. I don't like this at all. It sucks. I was shocked when Maria went over to Jack's tent by herself. That was not right. What is going on? I just, I don't understand. It. The way his face looked, Looks like he wanted to be alone. Yeah. It's really it's making nasty. me mad, honestly. I'm sorry I ran over here and bothered you. I just wanted to see if you were okay. I'm in shock. Jack looked really sad, so I just felt like he needed me to comfort him. Okay, you get back out. Okay. Okay. Is everything all right? Did you talk to him? So what'd you say? Nothing, I don't like the situation with you. So is he mad that we could had to keep it a secret? Um, I don't know. Maria running off to that tent the way that she did was not good in my mind, and she's actually right up there with Marissa and the two girls that I'm toying with eliminating. Today is elimination day, so we're gonna pack up our stuff and head on off to our next camp. But not everybody will be going with us. Today, we vote off one of our own. There has been so much tension in the last 24 hours, I don't even know what to think. My head is spinning. I think all the girls had an attitude change about Maria last night when they saw what she did when Jack went back to his tent. Good morning. Good morning. How about we get our stuff together? And we move on. Let's go. Oh, where's a bellhop when you need one? <laughs> I feel a bit empty this morning. And it's out of my control. Once today is done, I'll refocus, regroup, and give the last five girls my all.
morning. All right, Jack Day. Good to see you. Ladies. Well, ladies, by now you know how this works. There's six of you, five camels. It means one of you is about to be eliminated. Now, Mary, since you won the Aboriginal matching ceremony last night, you can't be voted out, but you will also not be voting today. I don't really think it was fair that I got my one vote taken away because I won that competition. I should have gotten two votes. There's been a lot of talk around the campfire about how close you've become, that you become like a family, how openness and honesty are very important to you. We're gonna put that philosophy to the test today. I'm simply gonna ask you to come down, talk to Jack, tell him who you're voting for and why. Adrian. I'm voting for Marissa. And the reason why I am voting for Marissa is because she did not embrace the group and we were all in this together. Thank you for being honest. Sure. Thank okay. you. From day one, I didn't trust Marissa. She's very transparent and we see exactly what she's doing. Marissa? I'm voting for Adrian. What I have to say is simple. Her behavior is completely classless and disrespectful and I don't think she belongs here in the Outback. Okay. Thank you. I don't want to go, and I know there's something between Jack and I, so it just makes it that much harder. I think that in order for one of us to end up with you, we need to get through the Outback, and I think that that takes a strong team of girls. And I still, no matter what I've tried to do in the last 24 hours, thought it was appropriate for Marissa to leave. I'm sorry. That's fine. Thank you. I thought that Marissa separating herself from the group hurt her a lot. I just think it's time that she goes home, and the rest of us will be stronger without her. Maria. Um, I think I could have got to know Marissa better, but I don't know her, and so I'm gonna have to vote her off. Emotionally for me, it's really painful to stand by and watch and have no control over them is just excruciating. It's killing me. Natalie. How you doing? Not good. I know. I'm looking for Marissa. Because... She's just not a team player like the rest of the girls are. But she is a good girl, and I love her because she's my friend. With Marissa, the girls seem to think they've seen something that I haven't. But they've made that choice, and I have to live with that. It's four to one, Marissa. The group has asked you to leave. I need you to say your goodbyes.
Trace has always been on the outside of the group. I think they feel a bit threatened by her and you know, they have every reason to feel threatened because we've made a connection. And I, I sometimes feel guilty because I have made this connection with her, but what am I meant to do? It's out of our control. Mm -hmm. Jack's a man unlike any man I've ever met. He's passionate, he's tender, he's kind. He's respectful, everything I want in a man. And it just tears me up to know that I'm not gonna be with him. We're gonna be riding some camel, and I cannot wait. I am so excited because I've been waiting this entire trip to ride a camel. This reminds me of my dog. <laughs> oh, I miss having a pet. What's my donkey's name? My camel's name. Your, your camel's name is uh, Zeus. The camels smell like the state fair. <laughs> Their breath smelled so bad I could not hardly stand it, and they had grass hanging out of each tooth like it was floss. And I was like, I have to get on these things and go for a ride. There you go. Oh, tight. Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. All right, pumpkin, let's go. Regardless if I'm riding in a limo or on a private jet or even on a camel, I try to always look my best. Come on. Come on, you lazy buggers. Dig it. Pumpkin. Marissa, I know the game's had a lot of twists. I know this adventure has taken a lot of unexpected turns. I'm hoping that you're ready for one more unexpected twist. You know they use the boomerang here in the outback? You go out, you throw it, what happens? It comes back. It comes back. Marissa, you're the boomerang. We told the girls they could vote somebody out. We never told them we were sending anybody home. So why don't you wave goodbye to the girls? You'll see them soon enough. Ladies, what goes around comes around. I'll be back. On the next Outback Jack. Put your ass into the seat, girls. My butt was so far in that seat, my bruises even had bruises. When unexpected guests drop in. Ladies, meet your competition. <gasps> oh my god. The girls face their toughest challenge yet. If you lose, one of them takes your place. And they have to use everything they've learned in the wild. Let's go! Or one will be sent packing. I'm afraid I might be going home. I drive like a crazy girl. Oh, you are hot. You hot, okay. mama. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, don't it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up? We in the outback with my peeps. Yeah.